Camille Fadaria, to the very beautiful and very smart dean of the College of Education, Member Gladys Tahagonis Carlos, to the OSC principal of the University of Maratori High School, Member Jomar Kapuyan, to our PTA vice president at the same time, the dean of the College of Forestry and Environmental Science. Dr. Jose Hermes Patricio, to the PTA officers, as well as to the director of the Office of Student Affairs, Dr. Shirley Cordova, and uh, the Green Nine representative, Sir Antonio Monte, faculty and staff, parents, students, guests. A pleasant morning to each and everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Central Mindanao University, known as the academic paradise of the South, is one of the leading universities in the country and in the ASEAN region. Since its founding in 1910, CMU has been in robust existence for 112 years and continues to provide programs that are reflective of the demands of the time. It continues to advance the frontiers of knowledge through interna internationalization of education and equitable access to quality extraction, research, extension, and production for economic prosperity, moral integrity, social and cultural sensitivity, and environmental consciousness. Indeed, we have gone far as a university. For the past years, we have been doing our best. Hence, we are able to achieve distinctions and honors. CMU is ISO certified, a level four university, a three-star university under the QS rankings, and has been awarded as Asia's outstanding institution. Well, Needless to say, the high school department, together with the parents, is a huge part of these applicants. Let me also update you on some of the recent achievements of CMU in terms of life insurance examination. For 2022, as well as in 2023, we really performed well in licensure exams and we even produced top notchers. For the licensure exam for teachers, we have produced top six and seven. Congratulations. For licensure exam in forestry, top one and top eight. For licensure exam for agriculture, top three, top nine, and top ten. Licensure exam for nursing, top nine and top ten. Licensure exam for nutrition and dietetics, top three. Licensure exam for agricultural and biosystems engineers, top two. And licensure exam for civil engineers, top nine. That is in 2022. And just recently, for 2023, we have produced a top eight in the licensure examination for mechanical engineers. Congratulations to everyone. Now, what do you think are the major reasons that made our graduates perform well? Is it because of that curriculum design? Sir Patricia would agree with this. On curriculum design. Yes, partly yes. Is it because of the capacities of our students? Yes, of course. Is it because of the faculty? Yeah, partly yes. Is it because of the administration, the social support, and other forms of support. Of course, yes. But you know, the major factor behind the success of students is the family. Parents who are supportive, brothers and sisters who are always there to give moral and social support. Academic success of children springs from a healthy family. That's why 
it is always proper and fitting to amalgamate the two activities, the PTA training and the recognition of outstanding students. To the outstanding students, the honorees, congratulations. Thank you for making CMU and your parents proud. God is so happy that you utilize and sharpen the gift of intelligence. To the proud parents, I am very happy for you. Please accept my warmest congratulations. To the non-awardees, don't be sad. It doesn't mean that because you aren't reckoned today that you are less compared to the others. Just keep on going. Study harder and smarter. Focus on your goal. Likewise, let me extend my appreciation to the members of ULHS. For decades now, you have proven your unwavering dedication and pedagogy and in shaping the future of our students. Someday, when those students are already professionals or entrepreneurs, they will always remember you. Well, that is to say, the UNHF has already produced countless successful professionals and entrepreneurs. Nevertheless, there is one very important point that I expect from you, young students. No doubt, you will emerge successful. Someday, you will become successful engineers, nurses, teachers, farmers, barristers, doctors, lawyers, business women, businessmen. But then, let me tell you and let me remind you that when you are already successful, Always remember that success is always sweeter and more meaningful if you have helped lift others' lives, when you have helped effect positive change in your respective communities, and when you have helped make this world a better place for everyone. Once again, congratulations to everyone. A pleasant morning.